Joshua, I want to uh, speak about a, a very, very difficult time in your life, in your family's life, and that had a dramatic impact on, on everyone in Renfrew County, but obviously your family's more than, than the rest of us who watched this unfold. The morning of September 22nd, 2015, when three women were murdered in separate locations by a single man. One of those women, Natalie Warmerdam, was your sister. That day you were in Ottawa at the National Arts Centre. What do you remember about that day? Uh, it was shocking. Um, I, uh, it was late afternoon when I actually heard uh, the news. Um, and I received a, a phone call from a relative uh, who uh, told, told, told the news to me straight. And uh, it, it just completely flipped my world upside down. Uh, I was uh, a couple of hours away from uh, having my first onstage rehearsal, rehearsal with the orchestra at the National Arts Centre for Barbara Seville. I was actually uh, uh, rehearsing for that opera at the time. And I remember um, after receiving the call and walking uh, across one of the bridges along the Rideau Canal with my wife uh, to rehearsal and just feeling like everything was just slightly tilted in the world. and my head was reeling and I, I, I just could not process what was happening on, what was happening to me and, and what, what happened to my sister and, and what that meant for my family. Um, and, and of course, the other two women that were murdered on the same morning, uh, completely tragic. And um, I, I just felt helpless at that moment, honestly, uh, I, I felt helpless. In the days ahead, it would have been very, very difficult to, to cope. It is so difficult to, to lose someone close, but under the circumstances, even more so. Uh, but yet you found strength and, and you responded to this by becoming a significant advocate to support people that are victims of gender-based violence. How did you respond to your sister's tragic death? Um, well, my response was really artistic. Um, and uh, e even though I continued with rehearsals and performances of Barbara Seville the, the week after, um, I was, uh, I mean, it was fortunate that I was so close to, uh, to my family that in between those Barbara Seville performances, uh, my wife and I were able to travel to the Ottawa Valley to uh, spend time with my family and attend all of these events, including uh, the celebration of life that they held for my sister. Um, and uh, I felt like I needed to use my voice to tell Natalie's story. And so um, I had already spoken with the National Arts Centre Orchestra about future projects. And um, my wife and I met with Daphne and Stephanie at the National Arts Centre Orchestra to discuss the commissioning of a new work that would uh, not only address uh, the murders and address uh, honoring my sister, but also to bring awareness to the larger worldwide epidemic of gender-based violence and violence against women. And that's really where the gem of uh, this project, Songs for Murdered Sisters, began, was really one week, uh, basically one week after my sister had been murdered we um, we got the ball rolling on creating this new musical work. And, and this project uh, was supposed to be released to live audiences where you would perform a couple of years ago now, but the pandemic has changed that. Uh, but you're going to get an opportunity very soon at the National Arts Centre, ironically, where you heard the news will be the first place where you will perform these songs live. It is, and it, it's uh, it's very strange that it comes full circle that way. Um, and uh, e even though in the past, um, uh, Jake and I uh, met in San Francisco in 2020 to record the cycle together um, and also uh, to uh, create a film of the cycle, which was released online last year. But uh, this will be the first time performing it live. So I, I anticipate that there will be a lot of uh, emotional, uh, a lot of uh, uh, emotions that I will be experiencing at the same time, um, not only just being back in the same city and in the same uh, performance hall that I was at the time. So 
it's, it's, it's a specific challenge that I uh, really feel it's important to face, um, especially because I think it's, it's so important that men speak out uh, against gender-based violence and speak up and speak out about it um, and bring awareness to the subject that I feel does not get uh, enough attention. And so um, we're, we're going for it. And I'm so grateful that the National Arts Center uh, Orchestra um, is moving forward with a live performance because I really do think it needs to be, the song cycle needs to be experienced with uh, people in the house uh, to be able for me to be able to communicate with them and to go through this transformative journey that uh, the song cycle takes that's very closely linked to all of my emotional uh, experiences uh, following my sister's murder.